Hello everybody, my name is Kemba Luke and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to do some troubleshooting on the Gigabyte motherboard GA-970A-D3P, which I'll throw up on the screen. And uh, we are going to be specifically discussing internet speeds. Uh, some of you, this might, will actually probably work on any Gigabyte motherboard that actually comes with the software that I'm about to speak of. But as you see on the screen... Uh, the Gigabyte motherboard comes with an installation disc, and on this installation disc, sorry for the little screen, I don't know what the hell's going on here, so I'll see if I can't blow that up a little bit, and if I have already blown it up, well then they pay no attention to what the hell I just said, but the Gigabyte motherboard comes with an installation disc, and on the installation disc is some software. Now here you have your drivers, you know, you got your Google stuff that I don't I, did, I installed a Google driver, but as far as uh, the Chrome and the Toolbar, the Norton, I I don't do any of that. But as far as the Realtek Audio, the LAN driver, and the USB 3.0 driver, those are a must. Those you have to. But these three, nah, I don't do that crap. But that's not the software I'm talking about. Now on this one here, where it says application software, you have two selections here. You have the install gigabyte utilities, which you need all these. And then there's this install application software. Now when you click that, this comes up. Now the Norton, no, I didn't download. Uh, the Ethernet diagnostic utility, yeah, you can go ahead and download that. that that'd be okay. The LAN optimizer, this is what we're going to talk about right here. Now if you guys installed a gigabyte motherboard, specifically the one I stated earlier, the GA970A-D3P, and you're having problems with your internet speeds, like really bad problems with your internet speeds, this is what's to blame, the LAN optimizer. All you have to do is uninstall this, go into your programs, you know, your uninstall program, change and remove program, okay, go there, find it on your list of programs, and un, you know, click it and uninstall it. You know, I, I've already done it. So I don't have to do it. I don't want to reinstall it and then show you guys how to uninstall it. If you don't know how to uninstall the program, then, then I don't know, man. Maybe you shouldn't be building your own computer. <laughs> but anyway, uninstall that LAN optimizer. After you uninstall it, restart your computer. And your problem solved. Test your ISP speeds. Uh, you can use, um, if you're building your own computer, you know what programs to use. I use the Xfinity. Uh, speed test because that tests like the multiple channels of your wireless router or modem. I have both in one, you know, and it has dual 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So it, it tests all that stuff at the same time. But they should be back to normal. It's not better than what they were originally were. So LAN optimizer, that's your guys' problem. That's it. Just delete that stupid ass little program. And all your internet speed should be back. So if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to comment below and I will answer you as soon as I can, like I always do. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It helped me get my channel out there. Really would appreciate it, guys. But as always, show me some love, show me some hate, but show me something. Other way I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out and happy gaming, people. Delete that shitty-ass program. That's all you gotta do. Restart your computer. Peace.